Morgan with iHealth2, talking with Dr. Cheryl Selman. We've been talking about estrogen and progesterone in women's health. Dr. Selman, you've talked about the many benefits of progesterone. How does a woman assess how much she needs or whether she needs it? The best way and the way that I actually recommend women assess their need for progesterone, even though it is a safe hormone, but it's a hormone and hormones mm -hmm. are very powerful and I don't recommend women using hormones unless, number one, they really need it and also have done the proper testing to assess whether they truly need it. Okay. The, the best way to test your hormone levels is with saliva testing. So this is a test you can do at your pleasure at home. It's more accurate than the traditional method, which is blood serum testing, mm -hmm. because it's actually able to show you the tissue levels of your hormones, which blood serum testing is not able to do. So through saliva testing, and looking at the results, you can see if your hormones are out of balance, if your progesterone is deficient, and then begin to use progesterone cream. Progesterone cream is available over the counter. Mm -hmm. It's also available by prescription as a, um, as a pill. There are also compounding pharmacies that can make mm -hmm. up progesterone okay. cream for you, but you know, it is available over the counter. And uh, in Hormone Heresy, I actually describe the timing of it, if you're using it for PMS symptoms, mm -hmm. then you want to use it for day 13 to about day 26 of your cycle. If you're using it to address menopausal symptoms, then you can use it from day, you can start with day 13 to 26, or you can use it for three weeks out of the month and then take a break. Mm -hmm. It's always important to use it for a period of time, whether it's two weeks out of the month or three weeks out of the month and then take a break because that kind of clears out some of the progesterone, keeps the receptors sensitive, and then you can go back to it again. I recommend using progesterone, first of all, for a short period of time until you alleviate the symptoms, and then it should be used in conjunction with a complete program that's addressing lifestyle, reducing your stress, mm -hmm. for instance, changing your diet, getting rid of the junk foods that are known to cause hormonal problems so you improve your diet, and also taking some nutritional supplements, whether it's vitamins or herbs or homeopathic formulas that can support the body to regain hormonal balance. It really should be used in conjunction with making all these other changes because we have this problem of hormonal imbalance due to the fact that we've been stressed, we've been depriving our body of good nutrition, we haven't prob probably been exercising adequately, mm -hmm. or what else is, you know, whatever may be going on. So we need to really focus on getting our bodies back into balance, and progesterone can be absolutely fantastic to support us while we are making these changes. But the saliva test is very revealing about what you need in terms of progesterone, and how do you get that? Well, saliva tests can be gotten in different ways. There are uh, places where you can actually order it on your own and kind of lets you test a couple of hormones. Um, so that's one way to do it. Personally, as a naturopathic doctor, I have been trained in how to read and assess, and there's a lot of information that you get from saliva tests that the average layperson doesn't get. So if you have access to a good practitioner, then you may actually want that practici practitioner to organize the saliva test which is sent to, to you, so you mm -hmm. do it in your home, and then the practitioner can get the results and evaluate what, what those results say. Would this have to be a natural practitioner like yourself, or would it be a, a medical doctor? Well, if you can find a medical doctor who is open <laughs> to this, and there are some okay. you know, integrative medical doctors, all of the uh, holistic practitioners, be it integrative medical doctors or naturopaths or chiropractors, anyone who has okay. really looked into this, all prefer to use saliva testing. They really won't use blood serum testing. Right. But the traditional medical doctors are pretty set in their ways and they've always used blood tests and probably always will use blood tests and have a great resistance to saliva testing. So you need to find someone who is open, receptive, and trained in uh, evaluating saliva tests, but that's the test I recommend. Okay, well I'm glad that you've made yourself available for that, so thank you very much Dr. Selman. You're welcome.